Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a night of misfortune bringing you that one tournament that is the final punctuation to an SCS season from 2021. It is, of course, the fall season final, ladies and gentlemen, and we are kicking it off on Mirror Island in this wild card round between two Aeon players. There is an interesting split in the bracket, which I will talk about in a second. But let's go ahead and see who's playing, and then we can talk a little bit about it. In the top right-hand corner, it is our favorite unicorn with rainbows. She is, of course, AA rainbows and unicorns, opening up with a double air factory, already spamming out a lot of air. And I'm guessing this is going to be a very quick engagement. Her opponent, Kenny, the green Aeon, hailing from Russia, also opening up with a double air factory here. And, uh, you know, both of them are kind of opening up with what we would presume to be standard play on this map. We've seen in the last Serpents Open where players have not really played much standard, but we haven't actually seen an Aeon Mirror on Mirror Island. As funny as that sounds. Or actually a mirror of any kind <laughs> other than the map. But anyhow, yeah, so welcome guys. Today, as always, it's a five minute delay. Uh, feel free to chat, but uh, obviously I won't be able to respond for five minutes, which is unfortunate, but we got to keep it fair for the players. And that's just the tournament rules. Scout from Kenny does get picked off, but he should see this double air factory opening. So he, they should know that uh, both of them are doing the same thing. Kenny is a little behind on the planes. I'm not sure if he was able to pick off Rainbow's scout. I don't think he was. He realizes this very quickly and nicely done by Kenny. He is going to be <coughs> pulling his air here in the back, trying to hide it a little bit. But it looks like Rainbows is going to come in. Of course, in this situation, Defender's Advantage is very, very good. But it looks like Rainbows is going to go straight for this expansion and is going to try and pick off some things over here. We have 10 planes for Kenny. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe like 11 or 12 for Rainbows. Kenny might get a good engagement. No, Rainbows turns around just in time here. Nice control A move. Rainbows' air is just sitting there, not firing though. Kenny's is already doing so he needs to rally all of his planes into here though looks like he's not really doing that right now kenny you need to send yep reinforcements coming in but despite that lag in the beginning i think rainbows is actually somehow managing to pick this off although no this is very very close i don't think either player is gonna win decisively here Yeah, Kenny's reinforcements arrive just in time here, and he is actually technically going to win this at the very end. That defender's advantage I was just talking about definitely paid off, but that is not before Kenny loses his expanding engineer. <coughs> my apologies, guys. I'm going to apparently cough today. I thought that my sickness from last week was gone, but... I honestly don't think it was it was as much sickness as maybe allergies because I just have I, I'm not actually sick. <laughs> I just had a cough and uh, a little bit of a of a dry um, mouth situation. But anyway, you guys don't want to hear that. <laughs> we do have another expanding engineer here. I think maybe this was uh, timed by Kenny to kind of come in here just in case. If so, that was uh, kind of a brilliant move. And he's actually up on expansions at this point. Just to buy a little bit. Just thanks to these forward uh, mass points not being taken as a result of Rainbows' assistance on these two air factories. It looks like she's going to try and engage again. And I think we're going to have a little bit of a longer game. Because you can't win this outright. If Kenny pushes out, he was for sure going to lose against the powerhouse of the machine that Rainbows is. So what we need to do is actually, I was just going to say, 
he just needs to get another engineer and start expanding again lock down this expansion before rainbows locks down hers and continue to expand maybe down the size and then eventually push on on land he does though <clears throat> plop down a research station and i don't exactly like that because that puts him behind on air and right now your your number one goal is to just get air and if rainbows decides to push out here which i suspect she will because again she's still assisting with both acu and engineer i think she wants to end this game quickly so we will see what this game brings us but i think as a result of this little move for the next two or three minutes rainbows is going to be ahead and then after that kenny's going to start to slowly pull together with her and then by minute by minute 12 um assuming they rainbows just doesn't out expand kenny they're going to pull together and then after that 12 11 12 minutes um i think kenny is going to start getting the lead but we'll see. There's a lot that can happen between the then and now. Welcome to my viewers. I think there is five, five of you right now. Thank you so much, guys. Say hello. We're gonna have an exciting day. We have um, two wild card round matches, and then we have four quarterfinal matches. Two of which are just absolutely bonkers. And uh, the other two is is pretty good as well. So we're going to bring all of those quarterfinal matches for you. Hopefully Spiff will join me eventually so you don't have to just hear my voice. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then just two wildcard round matches. We kind of I kind of tried to do a, um, a new <clears throat> a new thing this time around and just uh, do the first two rounds in the first day and then the semi-final and the final on the second day. I think it's going to work out a little bit better. We're going to have a longer day on day one than we normally do. But I think we're going to have exciting matches and uh, it's going to allow us to be a little more energetic for that actual final, which is the big marbles. And of course, the whole point of these tournaments is to decide who goes to the Invitational for the big honor of becoming the SCS champion, which is... What a lot of these players are honestly playing for. Like, there isn't a whole lot of money. Yes, the OSS reunion tournament or anniversary tournament was kind of a a little bit of a different thing. <laughs> kind of an anomaly for our community. But normally, there isn't a whole lot of a prize pool for these events. The SES season or the Invitational will, will have some prize money as well. So, and, uh, you know, by, by normal... Subcom 2 standards, the prize pool for that tournament. It's actually pretty sizable, you know. I'm not uh, exactly sure how much the 2v2 will have, but the one we won is going to be around $300. So pretty good. Pretty good. So we already see a little bit of differences. We already see Kenny just spamming out air, and that's thanks to his um, land, or sorry, uh, expansion and mass. And just like I told you guys, 11 and 12 minutes, this production is going to start catching up alongside this <clears throat> research to the point where Kenny is just going to explode above uh, rainbows. But she is she's keeping up. She, she has four air factories. She's not just going to sit there. And of course, at this point, you know, half the battle becomes who moves out first and who's going to try to snipe first. Uh, we're a little off from that point because I think both of these armies can be dealt with before they actually snipe the commander, assuming the commander is smartly placed. So, but that is a growing concern. More and more we get into this game. And yeah, Rainbow's actually caught up uh, decently on her expansion. I think that's a result of Kenny coming back here. I'm not exactly sure why both players are trying to expand to the back. Gosh, excuse me. I think I just need to dra grab a grab a drink or something before the next match because this is rough. Hello, Fortuna. I'm excited to see your match as well. Um, welcome, welcome. And uh, I'm not I'm not so sure that Kenny should be doing this. This is 
Yeah, if if, if uh, Rainbows realizes this, which she does have a radar. She does. Oh, Kenny's trying to pick up an expansion. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can assume that if she didn't take this, she's not here yet. So yeah, absolutely. I think if Kenny, yeah, Kenny should not be here. There's there's a couple of reasons. Number one is of course the obvious reason is that Rainbow still has a little bit more planes. Uh, does she have shields? She does have shields. But the less obvious reason is that Rainbows could have just decided to go for the commander. Of course, that's a that's a dice roll. But honestly, honestly, at this point, if I was either player, I would be sending my ACU to the water. But I don't know. I feel like Rainbows did have the opportunity. It's a very very ballsy kind of move if she does take it. But um, yeah, looks like she's gonna be repositioning her air. This is very dangerous, Kenny. This is very, very dangerous. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Okay, it's gonna go down here, guys. It's gonna go down here. There is gonna be an engagement here. I think they're kind of close in numbers, so if Rainbows messes up her micro again, it looks like Kenny does have flares here by the looks of it, and they're pulling very, very close together. Rainbows is catching up in score, but no, Kenny jumps ahead, and then they pull back together. Rainbows on top. I don't know who is winning this fight, but it is surely close I just I don't think Kenny should have been anywhere near here without proper radar coverage this is not the type of game where you really need to move your air I've always I always talked about you know moving your air positioning it correctly but it's not always the case especially on a map like this but it looks like ladies and gentlemen Kenny somehow Adjust a little bit on top here. I see more green planes. Kenny is up on the score. And it looks like he is taking the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Even with the reinforcements from Rainbows. I told you. By 12th minute, Kenny is going to slowly start pulling ahead. And it is most likely due to these two puppies right here. And a third one that came down later. But <clears throat> yeah, now Kenny has free reign. And I think he's playing this correctly. I think a less talented player would go directly for the commander or the main base. But I think he's doing exactly right. Shut down the expansions. Shut down those extra mass points on the sides. And just play super carefully. Get radar coverage, which he's already doing. Look at these. Look at these beautiful radars, ladies and gentlemen. Radars everywhere. He's going to respond to rainbows moving out her air so quickly that uh, you ain't you ain't even gonna have a chance to blink all right I would really like to see him pick off some more engineers though yep there we go overkill <laughs> massive overkill on this engineer incoming this engineer is uh yeah saddest engineer it didn't even realize it died yet when it got killed like three additional times all right Rainbows is going to move out with her planes. This is one way to try and counteract this type of aggression on the other side of the map. Is to fight a positional war and to send your planes to try and take out an expansion. Instead, Kenny is going to try and posture an ACU snipe here. Causing Rainbows to pull back. I really, really like this. I think Kenny is playing amazingly th this first game so far. Very calculated, very precise. You know knowing from after that scout just knowing that you can't really move out um because your opponent had the more more planes than you and then just expanding capitalizing on your advantage is key in an air in an air fight or in an air map and i think kenny is gonna grab this first game ladies and gentlemen rainbows is gonna get sniped there's anti-air on those factories but there's flares for a long time now on those Weedabuffs from Kenny and Rainbows is going to go down in game one. GG. First game 1 0 to Kenny. We're going to take a little break and we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to game two on Powderhorn Mesa. Let's quickly reintroduce our players on the left hand side. We have our blue. Aeon Commander with the name of Rainbows and Unicorn. She's down 1-0. Has to find something of an opportunity. An opening here in game two to try and pull it back. 
and send it to game number three. She's opening up with an air factory, which is a little more dicey, I'm going to say. I would not have chosen this tactic being 1-0 down in a best of three, but <clears throat> what do I know? I'm just a dumbass caster. <laughs> Her opponent, I, I feel like he's reading this somehow because Kenny, our green Aeon commander, is opening up with a double land factory and going Harvogs, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a good plan here against those planes. And, uh, you know, this is a very uh, <laughs> mass intensive build here. There's a research station and two land. And Rainbow's has got to not like this. She's got to be very, very sad about this at this point because uh, she's actually going into land. Yeah, this is a this is a very risky build. I, I'm not I'm not sure on uh, Powderhorn Mesa you can do this. It, it's even I would say it's even more riskier on Powderhorn Mesa because you're not going to get as much mass early on. You're not able to plop down <clears throat> or catch up on land as easily. But what do I know? Anyway, I wanted to say hi to a couple of people. Hello, Fox Jamalin. Spasiba. Pastarayos Buitzdarova. Hello, Akon. And Iron Commander. And I absolutely agree. I think this is Kenny's match to lose at this point. He is wonderfully ahead in this match. Picking up another mass extractor, or his first mass extractor, rather, sorry. Tanks are going to be the response from Rainbows. Uh, you know, I don't know if she went build cost on the planes. I hope she didn't. But, you know, I think um, Kenny can pick off this mass extractor. Oh, interesting split. <laughs> uh... Let's see if Rainbows heals the Mass Extractor here. The correct choice, yes, would be to heal the Mass Extractor. Yep, absolutely. So that Mass Extractor is going to be saved. Kenny is sending Harvox on the bottom. That's a lot of Harvox to send down there. Uh, but I don't think there is necessarily any chances of Rainbows pushing out just yet. And uh, Kenny is actually going to expand here to the top. Hmm. Well... I mean, it's a plan. It's a plan. You can't just not expand. And honestly, I, I've been thinking a lot. And I don't know if expanding back here is necessarily the best the best option. If you have to pick one, one direction to expand in. It's just going to be about how can she log down these planes. <clears throat> oh, no. Don't clump your units, Kenny. That was uh, not very good. Not very good at all. Of course, simultaneously to this match, we have the other wild card round. Osmos versus C to her. Or Petite. And, you know, a lot of people ask me, how come C to her and HVK are in this final? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been telling you this for a very long time. But half the SCS, or a sizable portion of the SCS... Is actually playing tournament and uh, the players that play tournaments will have a better chance of qualifying and it's important at the serpents opens to win any game one game gives you 50 points and 50 points is a lot and uh, you know HVK and both C and C to her both have qualified from the open events <clears throat> And they were able to get more points than uh, players like Polar Bears and Zodaika. And, you know, I've been, I've been telling you, treat, treat every game. It doesn't matter if you're going to win. Winning one of the Opens is, is very difficult. But if you're able to win a couple of games, a couple of maps, then uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of points. You can qualify off of 200, 300 points. That is just six map wins across, you know, maybe like 15, 16 rounds. It's not not that hard. A lot of a lot of players have have uh, more than 30 percent win rate, no matter what your skill level is. <clears throat> and of course, the serpents events, the, the open events, just match you based on your performance. So the longer the rounds go, or the longer the tournament goes. 
the higher the probability that you're going to play somebody who is your skill level, giving you more of a chance to, to win. So, it's not like we're going to have any more Serpent's Open events, but <laughs> I guess retrospect hindsight 2020 type, uh, type comment. Kenny's going to pick up another two mass extractors and an energy generator. And yeah, I think our Rainbows is doing absolutely the right thing. And I think Kenny is actually in very big danger here of dying. This is exactly what I was afraid of when he moved out with so many Harvogs there to the bottom. You just, you can't move out like that with that sizable portion of Harvogs. Ooh, that's range on the commander. Okay, I like that. Um, <clears throat> and push down the center. Like you can't do both of those things. And now he's down on, uh, on upgrades. That's a lot of MMLs too. Like his composition is, is just not good here. His composition and his tactic is just not good here, unfortunately. He's doing a good job microing his ACU just out of range. Oh no, you gotta keep firing on the tanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's gonna go down here. There's there's no way Kenny takes this. Unless Rainbows is way too passive. Yeah. I think Kenny, unfortunately, um, shit the pooch here a little bit, if that's the expression. But anybody can get nervous, guys. Anybody can get nervous. Rainbow says she got nervous in that game one. <laughs> Maybe Kenny got nervous in this game two. Yeah, I just think this was a very win winnable situation for Kenny, and it was completely unnecessary to push out like that. And Kenny does go down, meaning that we are drawn close. One and one. I don't know why my 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 thing didn't update, by the way, my overlay. I apologize for that. I'm gonna try and keep a closer eye on it. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into game three here in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back everybody to the final deciding game in this match of the wild card round. We are on Shiva Prime. Let's go ahead and see what our players are up to on the bottom. We have our blue Aeon Commander. She managed to pull back the 0-1 disadvantage. She is Rainbows and Unicorn. She's opening up with one Air Factory opening here. And her opponent on the other side of Shiva Prime. It is our green Aeon Commander, Kenny. Opening up with a double Air Factory by the looks of it. So, you know, it's it's a it's a riskier map to do this on, but you know, it can pay off. And we'll see how Kenny uh, manages to to utilize this uh this kind of advantage here. Rainbows should probably scout. Yep, that's absolutely correct here. And she's going to see. She's going to see the double air factory. And we'll see how she chooses to respond. I think there are Multiple options she can take. She's already pulling her commander forward. <clears throat> and I think that's the correct choice ultimately here. Kenny needs to be a little careful. I think, yeah, he can pull back his uh, plane and just try to save it as best as he can. And Rainbows just needs to worry about picking off planes. Because every plane that Kenny loses is absolutely disastrous. I'm not sure why we're still scouting. Oh my goodness. Well, he's going to get away with it because uh, Rainbows ends, ends up mismicroing a little bit. And it looks like Kenny is going to try and be very aggressive here. And I think that's definitely correct. Oh, what? An air factory up here? Oh. Well, I mean, that's one way. Another thing that I immediately think about is a possible TML. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these AA players, man. <clears throat> when in doubt, TML. That is, uh, that is the answer. Kenny sees it, though. That's a nice scout. Oh, no, 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 no. Kenny, actually, the correct response would be to pull your ACU forward and try to take it out here. Shield's going to come up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, I think, uh, yeah, we just, we're not going to deal with this this way, Kenny. It's too slow. It's too slow. 
that's very unfortunate. I feel like Kenny played an incredible series. He lost it on Powderhorn. He didn't lose it here. He lost it on Powderhorn with uh, a little bit of bad decision making. You can't push like that and split off half your army and have half of your army's composition be non-ground firing units. Even with ACU range. Like, I don't care how godly your ACU range is because at best, you're just going to lose your your forward position. Like, there's no way you're holding on to that. So, I... Well, actually, okay, he saved his research points. He saved his research points for slip tax. That is very surprising that we have slip tax right now. I did not expect him to save his research points. I'll, I'll be honest. But he does end up losing two mass extractors, which is, you know, still pretty big here. It's still pretty big here. And, um, okay, he is sending slip tax over here to cover this. So if he doesn't lose this and manages to rebuild, I mean, he has chances. But now the air kind of equated. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm honestly surprised we have slip tax right now. But, you know, it's a, it's a good plan. And if he manages to hold now and uh, maybe get a couple of MMLs of his own and push this out, kill this base, we have a, we have a chance here, ladies and gentlemen. I might have called this too, too, too quickly. And uh, that's shame on me, honestly. I apologize for that. I like this. I love this transition, guys. I absolutely love it from Kenny. I would love it even more if he just stopped air production or maybe just kept one of his land factories producing. Or sorry, one air factory producing. But he, it looks like he's able to sustain production on all four factories, which is very surprising. Oh, he has a massive eco now. Okay, Kenny is playing brilliantly, guys. Kenny is playing brilliantly. I am, I am going to say this right now. Um, Rainbows is still, I think, a, a little in the lead. <clears throat> But Kenny, this series, I think, has outplayed Rainbows. What all but one point is um, is when... Oh, nice air engagement. Nice air engagement for Kenny. He's coming in here right on the tail end of Rainbows, but somehow doesn't get enough of shots off here. A lot of Rainbows' planes are kind of low here. And uh, we are going to see an engagement here. Kenny is catching up on score. But I think Rainbows should still... Oh, there's anti-air from Kenny coming in as well. But uh, there's just too many blue planes here, and uh, a mass extractor does get picked off in the in the in the meantime here. Kenny, be careful with your attack moves. Oh my goodness! I feel like we just needed to save some air here. Yeah, and at this point, I think I feel like we just stop air and we just try and push this position out. Because if we take this position out, we are looking kind of great to be completely honest like who cares about these two mass extractors you, you're you're up here we gotta we gotta utilize this this uh land land advantage what happened to the tmls or sorry mmls oh my goodness kenny you're just throwing air away Ugh. what do you guys think hello vanity hello hello hope Welcome, welcome, everyone. I feel like Kenny could have definitely done some more damage here. <clears throat> oh, TML gets or MML gets picked off. Uh, I was so excited for Kenny. I, I was, I was so excited, but this is looking worse and worse. He got my hopes up, guys. Ugh. Kenny has been honestly playing much better, I feel like. We haven't seen too much of him before um, this year, of course. Particularly before May, if I recall correctly. Okay, Rainbows, yeah, now is your time to push. Now is the time to push. Because the air is over here. Is that a TML? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if, if Kenny is counter TML, TMLing, then uh, that would be very impressive. But yeah, Kenya has been playing much better.
if Kenny just loses a slow death here, I'm going to be really sad. I do think it's a mistake from Rainbows to keep kind of forcing, brute forcing your way through this like she is. I think a PD here would just seal the deal, to be completely honest. <clears throat> but if Kenny has a chance, ooh, what the heck? Rainbows' ACU is actually kind of low here. I don't know how that happened. Air is coming back, though. Kenny, you got to split your units. Looks like Rainbows is going to engage the air. And, uh, you know, once again, I like these engagements for Kenny. But somehow he just keeps uh, losing. Yeah, there's the point defense. <coughs> we just need to take out this forward factory. If we can take this forward factory out, I will really, really be in love. Come on, Kenny. Oh, no. Both these players are trying to brute force, and I don't think that's the answer. Bombing run coming in. Oh, that is savage. But Rainbows is going to lose her air for that. And that factory goes down. Okay, that's actually kind of key. We still have MMLs here, but they're in the front tanking damage. Um, we need to we need to be careful. Both players just like what is what is going on here? Rainbows is expanding here to the bottom. If maybe there's a sab cap. Uh, I guess this game is still close. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Petite. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like both players are just making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> oh, this, this land factory goes down. I hate this beam. It's just like such a cog blocker here. Yeah, both both players are playing very sloppy and I feel like not very efficiently. And uh, since uh, Rainbows has air advantage going into the mid game, somehow this is the mid game now <laughs> at 12 minutes. Um, <clears throat> you know, I I feel like she has a she has a solid lead. And I mean, when we're taking PD damage for no reason, that's uh that's no bueno. That's no bueno, guys. Yeah, I don't I think Kenny again is having composition issues as well. Where's the air from Rainbows? Why isn't she using air? I thought this air would have been down here like long ago now. What is Kenny doing? Bombing run coming in. I don't know what that air engagement was from Kenny. I don't know what that land engagement is for Kenny either. Like, why are we pushing this land force anywhere near? There's, like, barely two tanks here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Ooh, bomb and run. Decent. This is so sloppy. <laughs> Why are those units still clumped, Kenny? Save my soul, please. All right, that's game, guys. I <clears throat> honestly, I think Kenny could have won this every single game that he's played uh, but rainbows I think just a little more solid a little more consistent and of course TML helps <laughs> um, and manages to turn the series around from 0-1 down ladies and gentlemen our first series has surprised us despite everything that I've said I've actually really really enjoyed the series I think it was very very close and I think it was Kenny's to win like Iron Commander said and um, unfortunately he does go down a little bit of composition issues 
And I agree with what Hope just said. There is no Harvogs. I think Harvogs would have been a correct choice, but you can't really go Harvogs after you've invested into, um, what are they called, slip tags very easily without a research station, without really doing damage. So I don't think he could have. But yeah, I think I think the composition could have been better. I think maybe getting MMLs a little sooner. But yeah, I, I think Kenny, Kenny was on the right path. It's unfortunate that his path does end here in the wild card round but um, we're gonna wish the best to rainbows and we're gonna take a little break probably 15 minutes and we're gonna jump into our next wild card round guys don't go anywhere hope you enjoyed we'll be right back if you're still watching give a thumbs up to this video if you like the video leave a comment if you love the video please subscribe and if you are blown away by it check out my patreon page this has been night take care and peace out